and welcome. You're watching Head to Head. I'm Antonina Antosha with UATV. Online education is becoming a universal tool for self-development. Interactive courses help people gain the skills required for career growth and advance their results at the university or school. At the same time, access to high-quality knowledge can positively influence not only the development of an individual, but society as a whole. So how does online education change the Ukrainian community? And how do civic and state organizations already use this tool to achieve their goals? To discuss this, we welcome to the studio today Tatiana Tisluchenko. She is the head of communications at the educational project called EdEra. Hello and thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me here. Uh, so, first of all, uh, let's summarize how popular is online education currently in Ukraine overall? Um, it's difficult to assess this in numbers, I would say. However, if we look back, like four years ago, for instance, when we have nothing, basically, that mm -hmm. was produced in Ukraine, and we look what we have at the moment, um, you can see that it's not only a number of platforms uh, happened and were created and are uh, like very often used now in Ukraine. But also if we look at the numbers that we, for, for instance, online education studio Adara has, uh, at the moment we have uh, almost 300,000 people who are who are subscribed to our courses online. Mm -hmm. We have over 10 million views on of our courses on YouTube. And we have a number of, at the moment, more than 24 online courses and also different special projects that we created together with other organizations. We have interactive books. So the market itself is developing and what we see that the demand is growing. So people want to learn, they want to create uh, different tools and the tools that will be useful for everybody and tools that can be used by uh, different audiences. Um, as an example, um, this year, uh, not last year already, in 2018, first ever online course became um, a, an obligatory course for school teachers, for instance. This never happened before. This was a quite a new development for Ukraine itself. Mm -hmm. And what is the most important is that um, there are online courses that can um, basically satisfy different needs. So there are online courses for um, school teachers, there are online courses for kids, there are courses that can be used by professionals like lawyers, judges, journalists. And there so are basically you have a widespread target audience. Yes, I mean they're very specific for very specific course, but I would say that every Ukrainian can find something useful on our platform for instance. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your project Edera, right? E educational Era. E educational e Era, all right. So this is the transcription, an yeah. educational era. Let's talk about the idea behind the project. How did you come up with this? Uh, who's on your team? What are your goals? How are you trying to achieve them? Enlighten. We in Adara believe that every science is beautiful and that every science is interesting and it's the matter of how you present the information to the final consumer. And we see ourselves as, as a bridge between those who teach and those who want to study. Mm -hmm. So we basically come up with different ways to present information so it's, it's easy to um, um, accept it and it's easy to study. Four years ago, uh, two students um, who were studying radio physics here in Kiev uh, they completed a MIT online course, um, Circuits and Electronics. Mm -hmm. And they saw how the material can be presented. So they gained a lot of knowledge here in Ukraine, but they saw that it could be presented in a different way. And they realized that there is a need to mix different approaches, to mix different educational schools. And they came up uh, with an idea to create online course for Ukrainians in Ukrainian in physics. Mm -hmm. And after that, I mean, they were planning to um, apply for PhD studies in the US and go abroad and work and study there. But after that very first course in physics, that they shoot only with some basic equipment, they had to com uh, complete some online courses in web design and um, other different uh, subjects in order to learn how to do online courses. And after they came up with this course and received so much positive feedback, they realized that there is much more to be done here in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So since then, um, and those two were Ilya Filipov and Artyom Ilchuk, the two co-founders of Adara. And since then, the team uh, grew and now we have uh, uh, over 30 people. Some of them are uh, here, I mean, majority of them are here in Kiev and some of them are based in Berlin. We have um, 
people, motion designers, opera, uh, cameraman. We have people who uh, who who do. We have like a, a department that does research on how to uh, use different methods in order to present information. And every single course that we produce, uh, we don't just put somebody else's courses on our platform and this is the the specifics of our work we create courses mm -hmm. we are a studio of online education and every single course that we produce uh, before that we we do research on what are the modern te techniques here and there what are tools used worldwide what works what doesn't work what will be working here in Ukraine because it's also sometimes we cannot use all the techniques that are widely used abroad for instance we cannot use them here on, mm -hmm. in Ukraine so um, this is our goal and we believe that um, education uh, is something that is really interesting and uh, we aim to prove this to every Ukrainian and to create um, uh, to create the world where everybody takes education seriously and uh, with great sort of responsibility and here we mean the responsibility not only of those who teach but also of those who study because if I know what I want to study, I will demand the educational products of good quality. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do not tolerate uh, educational products of bad quality and we want everybody to demand that education is simple, is interesting, is interactive. And this is uh, the way how we see the development of the society from both sides. What's the most popular uh, educational program right now on your platform? Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, last year, uh, together with the Minister of Education, we created an online course for school, uh, school teachers. Mm -hmm. So uh, within, within the new Ukrainian school reform, this course became um, obligatory, compulsory for uh, 22,000 um, primary school teachers. Mm -hmm. However, we didn't expect this, but this happened. Uh, at the moment, over 100,000 people completed the course. Mm -hmm and uh, uh, over 170,000 people are currently studying there. So mm. there is like a big interest from, uh, from teachers to this course. And this proved once again how cooperation with different organizations and of like uh, in introduction of different methods and tools can like work for the, for our like joint success. So this is one part of um, the most successful products, I would say. Uh, and we have also a number of other courses for uh, school teachers. The second most popular course on the platform is Life Hacks of Ukrainian Language. Surpri they are mm -hmm. surprisingly. Surprisingly. Yes, and, <laughs> and this say? course, what is also very interesting, it also received a uh, recommendation from the Ministry of Education for schools, so it's also recommended to be used in schools. Do you plan to continue your cooperation with Ukraine's Ministry of Education in future? Well, this cooperation showed, uh, first of all, this was a precedented uh, co cooperation because this never happened before. Online uh, technologies, online platform, online education were never used this like mm -hmm. widely before. So it showed that the cooperation uh, can be quite successful. However, at the moment, I don't, I don't have any precise plans in terms of our cooperation with the ministry, but we do plan to continue to work on a number of products for uh, school teachers as well as for kids. Do you cooperate with any other partners, international partners included? Yes, we have a number of products and, and these are not like massive open online courses uh, as we as we call uh, one part of our products that we have. But we have also some special projects with, let's say, UNDP, mm -hmm. uh, UNICEF and other international organizations. And they cover different topics, uh, in this case, mostly um, devoted to um, for like civil education, civic education, mm -hmm. uh, for instance, with UNDP. Uh, we created a, a set of materials um, that, uh, that teachers can use uh, to um, organize anti-corruption lessons in, in the schools. We also created a number of promotional materials to further promote the uh, anti-corruption and the importance to combat corruption in Ukraine. With UNICEF, for instance, we together created um, the, uh, uh, the, biggest, the world's biggest uh, uh, lesson. These are also a set of materials that every every school teacher uh, can present at school and teach kids on uh, how to feel. Let's say what is safety, what what is bullying, mm -hmm. why it's not normal, what is discrimination, why it's not normal, how they should react, etc., etc. Okay, um, let's be honest. Online education is not very popular in Ukraine right now. I mean, the um, Ukrainian society is not aware 
of the positive effect of online education to that extent that it could be massively popular around the country. However, it's starting uh, to gain its momentum. Nevertheless, the biggest part of teachers right now teaching in schools are not used to online education. Could this lead to a so-called conflict or battle or anything like that? How do we resolve this? Uh, this is a very interesting question. Thank you for this. And uh, just a very, like, you know, very fresh example. When we just uh, launched this course for uh, primary school teachers, for the first, like, days, we received literally a thousand emails because they didn't know how to sign up for the course. Mm -hmm. They didn't know how to create their email address because they never used it. And uh, the fact that this course was obligatory, so they had to. They were calling us, they were emailing us uh, via their friends, relatives, etc., etc. Yes, that was quite a stress for us. And I understand that probably that was quite a stress for them too. But now, I'm sorry, uh, um, people who teach our children who at the age of three these days, I have a five-year-old daughter and the way she is communicating with a tablet or a smartphone is so advanced that I have no chance in competing with her. So those people uh, try to put knowledge into the heads of our children who are already, you know, so knowledgeable about the gadgets and are supposed to be learning from people who are not able to create their new email address. Well, we're not speaking now about the technology. They're not teaching kids technology, but Still. they use this online course for right. their own self, self-improvement, self like upgrade. Mm. And it, the fact that they had to learn how to do this, this and that, it's already a good development. They learned this, then they passed the course and the fact that so many people, so much, many more people that, I mean, 22,000, that was obligatory for them, but 100,000 people already completed it. It shows that there is an interest, interest mm -hmm, in this. Mm -hmm. There is a demand and people want to learn something new. They want to study. I mean, if I'm a student or if I'm a teacher. Mm -hmm. What are your plans for 2019? Are you planning on opening any specific, particular, interesting courses? Um, uh, as I mentioned before, a big part of uh, the of uh, projects that we have is an education for uh, teachers and like school education. So we'll continue. What about students? Uh, I will I will be back okay. to this a little bit All later. Right. So we will continue to work on these products: uh, online courses for teachers, online courses for um, school uh, school children. Uh, for instance, we already have a number of courses that. Uh, teach Ukrainian language, literature, mm -hmm. physics, geography, and now we're working on two more, history and math, and these courses will also help kids to pass external independent uh, tests mm -hmm. that every uh, school kid has to pass after 11th grade. We also have a, a, like a, a platform that is created specifically uh, to train children to pass this uh, external independent mm -hmm. test, and we'll continue to work on this. Another big part would be um, products and online courses um, for every Ukrainian, uh, for everybody who wants to study. And like last year, for instance, we launched first ever online course in fact checking together with Vox Ukraine. So everybody now can go there. It's a very interactive, easy to accept uh, course that helps everybody to identify where is the truth and where is the lie, a mm -hmm. propaganda or fake. Mm -hmm. And we'll continue to work on this to teach people how to how to be a good a citizen of uh, of the country to teach them uh, in their basic human rights. Uh, however, uh, we also plan to uh, think globally and create something, some products that can be used not only in Ukraine but, but also worldwide. We this year uh, 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 issued a book, uh, software development from A to Z. Uh, mm -hmm. It's in English, and based on this book, we also plan to create an online IT course mm -hmm. for everybody. Thank you so much for coming, for Thank what you you're for doing to make a Ukrainian society even a better one. Thanks Thank again. You. Thank you. My pleasure. That was Tatiana Tislichenko. She is the head of communications at the educational project called Ed Era. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.